everyone, I wanted to show you guys what I recently ordered from the Canada Post website. I got a bunch of collectible stamps. It came in this little paper envelope and then the big one I got, um, it came like this. So these ones, I got the Canada 150 Marriage Equality Stamps shiny with some silver on it the Vancouver Asahi baseball stamps and then the emergency responder stamps so I just want to show you guys what the back looks like tells you a little bit about the stamps why they were created This one I thought was really interesting. It's about racism in Vancouver. And here's the back of the marriage equality one. Just to show you guys the group of seven one. Now this one also came in a small booklet form, but I liked how this version showed all of the stamps on one page as well as give a description of the stamps because I don't know if the small booklet one had this but I liked seeing it together side by side. So the group of seven as well as the other topics over here they're all big or important topics and themes in Canada hence the stamps. I'll show you guys a close-up of this one these are seven famous artists in Canada. So one thing you might not know about the stamps are these are actually really big stamps compared to the regular stamps. I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison with something I already have. So this here is a regular stamp as you can see, these collectible stamps are huge, but they still have the same value as regular stamps. Um, in this case, this is actually a US stamp, so the value is not the same since these are P stamps, which is the domestic rate. It's actually, that's also how much they cost, which is one reason why I like collecting them because I do mail out a lot of things and I have to buy stamps eventually, so I like how these ones look really nice. So now I'll show you guys the inside of the stamps. So I don't want to describe what each of the picture is because I'm afraid of getting them wrong. But it's hard to tell, but the person in each stamp is actually a little glossy. And you'll notice that that's a special feature on almost all of the stamps. This one I really liked because it's a circle shape which is really different and unique compared to the regular rectangle stamps. And what's special about this booklet is the background is painted or printed with a shiny silver ink and the background is a map of downtown Vancouver and the red spot marks the park where they played baseball. I read that from the fine print at the bottom here. Really cool circular stamp. The next one is the Canada 150 Marriage Equality Stamp. So 
This actually came out a few years ago during Canada's 150th birthday. So I really like how the Canada, Canada Post website still sells these older stamps for people like me who start collecting a bit later. So again, this is actually shiny silver ink. Inside again is this shiny metallic silver ink. And I love these stamps because they are the shape of the maple leaf, which is on our Canada flag. It's also the same shape as the little pea stamp icon. It's a really cute pride flag and I think people, especially if you're mailing outside of Canada, people will love the Canada Maple Leaf stamp. Again, here's just the side by side of the size difference. This one, I don't think they're stickers. So these three, they're actually stickers, which I find really convenient. This one is more of a traditional stamp. I actually haven't opened it yet because I'm not sure if I'll use these stamp, use these stamps or just keep them as is, as a collectible. So this is actually the booklet option. So like this, if I wanted a sticker booklet, it would have been this size, looking like this. Or these are the special first day covers. Each stamp is on its own kind of postcard. This is what a lot of people buy if they want to frame the stamps. These ones, they do cost a little bit more since you're getting a bit more stuff with your stamps versus the booklet, as well as this page you pay for the value of the stamp so you get all of this information for free just to show you guys what came with my stamps this is just the receipt as you can see you pay for the value of the stamp which is the current domestic rate every year the domestic rate goes up a little but the stamps they usually they can usually be used at the same new domestic rate. You don't need to put additional one or two cent stamps. So one reason why I actually started purchasing these stamps is because I recently, or a few months ago, I purchased this dessert stamp. Unfortunately, I cut off the other side of the booklet since I already used the stamps. But those that know me in real life know that I love desserts, which is why when I saw these at Shoppers Drug Mart in the post office, I had to get them. There's a few reasons why I love them aside from the fact that they are desserts. They're actually watercolor paintings. Well, this one looks like a watercolor painting. This one looks more like a photo. The Nanaimo bar, a blueberry grunt in a cast iron skillet, and then a sugar pie. Just focus on that. The bottom also tells you where the images came from as well as the artists. So I fell in love with these stamps and this is what prompted me to start collecting stamps. Just want to show you guys the other stamps I have. The one I was showing earlier, this was given to me by my friend. This is what you would use to mail something to the United States. Unfortunately, the cost to mail letters to the United States went up. So when I use these stamps, which are worth $1.20, I do have to add additional postage so that they can actually mail it. I think right now it's about $1.30. I also have this three cent stamp. I bought this to 
add on to the US stamps. Since I do mail a few things to the US more often than I send things within Canada, but I found out that I can actually use these domestic stamps internationally. And the value of the P is just value at the current domestic rate. And then I just need to add these additional stamps when mailing internationally. This is another one I bought in store. So it's not on this order receipt. I got these ones online. This one, I was I bought it because I really liked the lotus flowers. There's actually a lot of different floral stamps out right now. This one actually comes with letter or envelope stamps. Oh, that was my dryer. This comes with envelope stamps that you can stick to close your envelope. And I thought this was one big stamp, but it's actually two that fit together kind of like a puzzle. So if you do mail things internationally where it would cost at least $3, you can stick these two together and it would look really nice or look really cool. I just wrote down here how much I paid for them. So in the future, in case the rate goes up, I know how much the stamps are worth and how much I actually paid for it before the rate went up. So one really cool feature I want to point out on these stamps is they have a dove and a dragonfly in the background. So let me try and focus so you can see it. There you can see the dove. It's printed with a shiny ink. This is a security feature. It's really hard to see even in real life. And then the dragonfly is on the yellow flower in the corner. Oh, there it is. You can see the dragonfly in the corner here. This is what the back of this stamp booklet says. Some native North American flowers. I really hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new from the video. Maybe you learned something new about Canada or learned some new, learned about the security feature on stamps. And I hope you guys find them as cool as I do and maybe start collecting them yourselves. It would also be really cool to see some stamps from other countries and also trade them with people that watch this video from another country. I really hope you enjoy and let me know in the comments which stamp you thought was the best. Thank you and have a great day.